Okay. Stay, stay. Day seven of our 10 day challenge, we've come out to property that we have permission to work on, uh, Icon, and he's running cattle out here. And those of you that know dog, you know he's a herding dog, he's an English Shepherd. And I'm hoping he mines. So we're gonna go just back off for our 10 day challenge, day seven. Come on, with me. He should leave him alone. He's getting better unless I tell him to. Day seven of our 10 day challenge and one of the days in the backyard is probably gonna be a boring thing for you guys to watch, but it is what goes on in dog's life when he's not out hiking. And this is really not a hike, it's a walkabout. We've shed hunt this property. We found the big match set back off on the far side of the property. This is uh, not a shed hunting hike, but you never know, we might find something. Like I said, we usually are out here and he's not running cattle. He does occasionally out here, but usually it's just us, the deer, the turkeys, the possums. And Doug is doing remarkably well, considering that uh, every time he's usually around cows, he tries to herd them. And by the way, the pause didn't work. When I hooked the mic up, I had to uh, start recording again. Dog, right. It's unusual hearing cows out here. I do want to just walk around a little bit, let dog do some sniffing, do his morning constitution. What are you scratching for? That's unusual. He usually doesn't scratch. I guess we're gonna have some background noise today. The other day it was jets, today it's cows. Come on. good way to get through this. I think we'll just come out here, walk around for a little bit, do some filming. Haven't been out here since well before dog hurt his leg. I would say a month before he hurt his leg. I do have my snake gun on me just in case we run across the rattlesnake. Now he's going to do his morning business. I don't have the backpack on me. I don't have the big camera on me. I don't have the tripod. It is, like I said, just a walkabout. Get him out someplace he hasn't been in a while. I do know that uh, the gentleman that runs cattle out here uh, has lost a few cows to coyotes because we found we have found heads and bones and body parts in several different places on this property.
Let's go this way. Come on. With me. Come on, let's go. You got the guy that's feeding the cattle coming back in and dogs interested in the truck that he's hearing. Yeah, that's one of the cow bones. Come on. Come well, on, let's work towards the back over here. Sun's coming up. Got some really good pictures driving out here of the sun breaking through the clouds. The sunrise and then a pretty sunlight coming through the clouds we make some really good pictures come on with me Come on, let's go this way. Dog, right. He gets it in his head that when he hears a vehicle, he thinks it's somebody coming or somebody, he'll actually think it's uh, Lynn and I leaving him if it drives off. So he starts getting nervous, which we've never, ever left him anywhere. But he just has some insecurity sometimes. Don't you? Don't you? He will walk in between my legs. Uh, like what they, some of the uh, special forces dogs do and the uh, police dogs do. And he has no trouble with going, what we, we tell him between, and he goes between our legs. And then I'll say, walk with me, and he will walk. We get to a spot, maybe I can show you guys in this video. Stay. Walk with me. Walk with me. Come on. Walk with me. Uh, he's not going to do it. He's calling in the cows. Come on. With me. Dog. He heard him a noise that he hasn't heard before. We were not expecting the cattle to be out here. We weren't expecting to see one of the guys out here feeding them. So, never know what's going to happen when you're out and when you're doing things. 
Nathan, the guy that's given us permission to be on this property, he's never told us that we couldn't hike it when uh, the cattle were out here. And we've done the other one that we have permission from him to, to walk or hike, shed hunt on. He's never told us to not be on the property when there's cattle. As long as dog doesn't chase them and we don't try to aggravate them too much, then I think we're good. Well, we're gonna make our way to the trees. It's back off over there and then back up to the truck. And here's a little walkabout for day seven. We'll be done. This is just some of the things that goes on in his life, in dog's life, that we don't record because usually we're just out doing it for him to get exercise or, uh, you know, his daily routine stuff. But we've got a stand of trees over here that we're going to walk into. His walkabout will be over. He's going to have a couple of days off from hiking. And we'll come up with something else to do for the 10-day challenge that you guys have not seen before. Dog, wait. over here to the trees and see what's going on in the trees we do know there's cow bones over here in the trees we've seen them for the past two years we have never found sheds in these trees though we found them on the outliers of it along the fence line and once we found one in the middle of the field where they don't do a whole lot of planting they just usually let it go to tall grass but we've never found any sheds off in these trees we found a small shed and a couple of sheds in the other stand of trees but not this stand of trees Where'd you go? Stay with me. He has seen the cows. He's put out a couple of rolls, rolled bells of hay for the cows. Lots of cow droppings in here. Wow. They've chewed it down and they've really got the Cow Patty's going. Hey, if there is any sheds in here with all of being chewed down by the cows, we should see something, right? That's what I was talking about. There's some more back over there just on the outsides of the trees. But I think this is going to be good for his walkabout. I want to keep my eye on him when we get back out in the open so he doesn't try to 
chase after the cows because that could go sideways really fast. We could get in trouble. We could be asked not to be on the property any longer, so I need to keep my eyes on him. And we'll make our way to the truck, which is on the other side of the cows. And then deal with the hot fence. Make sure we put it back up the way it's supposed to go. And there you go, day seven. Guys, like, share, subscribe. Oh, wait, look at this. Looky there, dog, did you see that? I walked right up on top of it. Wow, we were not looking and we found one. That is freaking great. Hey, wow, looky there. Now that's pretty cool, guys. Like I said earlier, we weren't planning on finding any, but we walked right up on that one. I was too busy watching the cows. The dog was too busy watching the cows, and I just happened to look over, and that's number 41 for our shed season. So even by accident, leave it, leave it, leave it. Even by accident, we find one. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. We've had a couple of exciting 10 day challenge videos. We appreciate you all. Till next time for dog and our 10 day challenge and finding a shed antler, be safe.